Hey friends, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Eric Sun, and I'm an incoming first year medical student at McMaster University. Today, I'll be sharing some of my experiences and the pathway I took to get into a Canadian medical school. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because it really does help the channel out. I was recently admitted to the Michael G. DeGroot School of Medicine at McMaster University. And now I'm making this video with the hopes that you can use some of my knowledge and some of my experiences to help you with your own med school application. Now, just a little disclaimer, the path I'm about to share with you is just a single path, and there are many, many different ways you can get into medical school. I haven't met a lot of my future classmates yet, but we do have a Facebook group chat and I've gotten to know a little bit about their backgrounds. Some have already worked as nurses or in pharmacies, they might have finished grad programs, or they might have finished an undergrad degree in art or music or business. The point is, you don't need a science degree to be able to get into medical school. You should be able to follow your own passions and then build your application around that. Everyone has the potential to get into medical school. So quick background about me. I was born in China and I immigrated to Canada when I was really, really young. I grew up in the Niagara region, which is a fairly small area where everyone kind of knew each other. I loved being a part of that community and I was really proud of the place I'd grown up. So I got involved and gave back as soon as I could. Here I'll talk about three extracurriculars that I did during my time in high school. I volunteered at the local hospital. I served on the city student council and I also worked in a part-time job. Starting with volunteering at the hospital. I started off at the info desk and at the day surgery unit, and I was eventually promoted into volunteering in the emergency department. Going in, I totally expected to be witnessing some like crazy surgeries, but what I actually got out of it was a lot better. I was mostly giving people information, helping them with things, or even just keeping them company. I got to learn a lot more about life by living through the experiences of people from all walks of life. And these diverse lessons still help me to this day. One super helpful one that might sound super simple is just taking a deep breath and breathing whenever you feel stressed. If you're feeling really overwhelmed by something or you're feeling very stressed out, just close your eyes take two minutes to just focus on your breathing and gather yourself. When I did this during the car section of the MCAT, it helped bring me back down to earth and calm me down so I could refocus for the rest of the section. I would really recommend volunteering in a hospital if you're interested in getting into healthcare. You're constantly exposed to so many different stories and lessons from people from all walks of life that really help ground you and give you perspective into where you are in the world. Secondly, serving on the city's student council. I got to sit on a council of high schoolers from all the different high schools in the city to talk about youth affairs and how we can improve the student experience. In this position, you bring your ideas to the table and get to collaborate with a bunch of like-minded individuals to come up with your answer. We would share all the lessons that we learned from our own schools and then bring those back and work on implementing those lessons on improving the student life. We also planned a lot of inter-school activities to try to connect students from different schools who might have not had a chance to interact with each other, and also to provide a safer and more inclusive community for everyone. That extended to creating initiatives towards those people that were struggling. When I was on the council, we actually pioneered a great scholarship for one graduating student, as well as a mental health resource for students to use. My favorite thing about student council was that it gave me a voice. I could listen to student concerns and actually come back and make some tangible change. I was also lucky enough to be able to improve my speaking and collaboration skills. I feel really lucky to have been entrusted with this position and I hope that I did some good. I would seriously recommend this type of position to anyone looking to get out of their shell or improve their school and community. During my time in high school, I actually worked two different jobs. I worked at a Burger King and a Sobeys. They weren't super glamorous jobs, but I was making a little bit of money to spend and I was saving up as well. And I actually met a lot of cool people that I don't think I would have met in any other situation in my life. Sure, I learned a lot of the buzzword skills you would come to expect like teamwork or planning or organization, but I also learned a lot of other skills that I probably never would have learned otherwise. I learned how to completely fillet a fish. I learned how to give somebody a tattoo and I learned how to make hot sauce from scratch. What I'm trying to say is by putting myself out there in a new situation with the opportunity to meet so many new people, I had a lot of chances to learn new things to help me stand out. 
and give myself a better story to tell in the future. So don't be afraid to go out there and learn something new. So I went to Western University in beautiful London, Ontario for my undergraduate degree. Going to a Canadian university wasn't always the plan, but that's a story for another time. I was majoring in the medical sciences program, and in my third year, I went on to specialize in physiology. Something I did really early on was familiarize myself with the prerequisites for the med schools so that I could set myself up for success. There weren't a lot of great resources at the time to help me with that, but more recently, one great one has come up called Onboard Med. They have some great tools for you to see exactly what you need to do to be eligible for all the different med schools in Canada. During my time in university, I was always studying really hard. Even during the weekends when my friends would go out, I would stay in to study. It paid off for my GPA, but I honestly wish that I went out a bit more and had a little bit more fun. If you're going into university, don't think that you have to study all the time or that you don't have to study at all. You gotta find a balance between the two. When I eventually found that balance, I was starting to study for the MCAT, and I think that really, really helped me get through that long, long summer. Now, onto my extracurriculars. I continued on with student council, and I also joined a team sport in my second year, which I eventually became a coach in during my third year. Now, something that really became important to me was actually the distinction between just participating and making a difference. In my second year, I joined Western's Dragon Boat team, which for those of you that might not be familiar with it, is more or less like rowing. Then after a year of experience in my third year, I wanted to be a coach because I felt that I had the knowledge and the skill set to help my teammates that were less experienced. Instead of just participating, I used what I knew to make it easier for somebody else. And that's what I really recommend to you. Think about what you're interested in, and then think about how you can use that skill or interest to try to help somebody else. Use your skills to serve a greater purpose. In the coaching position, I knew that I was really knowledgeable about fitness and nutrition and different exercises, so I used that knowledge to try to teach others along the way. With every person I helped, I found myself learning too. How to communicate better, how to get my point across, how to be able to help someone who was just starting off. Do something meaningful with your passion and I promise you won't regret it. Lastly, find great opportunities. University is a time of exploration and for finding out what you like and what you don't like. Instead of always studying on the weekends, go out and try to do something fun. Say yes when someone invites you to their club meeting and then actually go. Don't be afraid of going up to random strangers in the Tim Hortons line and just striking up a conversation. The connections you make in university will really define your time there. It's also one of the last times you're surrounded by tons of people that are your age. You may find a special someone in the most unlikely of places, but that's a story for another time. If you remember anything from these videos, please remember these. Be proactive. Take the time to get out there and do something new. Talk to someone you've never met and learn with curiosity. Chances are you won't remember a lot of the stuff you learn in high school or university, but the lessons you learn from others will never fade. Hard work isn't enough. What I mean by this is twofold. Firstly, you have to make smart choices in high school and university to set yourself up for success. Working hard doesn't mean anything if you're not working towards the right goal. Secondly, working hard is great for your grades, but it's not as good for your soul. Make sure you're not always working hard and you're still taking the time to do the things that make you, you skills over knowledge. By putting yourself in new situations, you're always getting a fresh outlook on a different part of life. You're improving your maturity, your communication skills, as well as your life experiences. In my opinion, these are 100% more essential into getting to med school than anything you'll learn from a textbook. So that was a quick overview of my pathway from high school all the way to medical school. I'm really glad you're here to listen about my story and I hope that something was really helpful for you. If you wanna learn more about the specifics of my time in high school and my time in university, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll make more videos about that in the future. Everyone has a different path that they take to get into med school and I can't wait to hear about yours. Thanks for watching and subscribe to stay tuned. That's your daily dose of Medi Sun, and I'll see you in the next video.